Vacuum Transistor The invention of vacuum transistor is a major breakthrough in the history of electronic technology. It laid the foundation for modern electronic devices. Its key innovation was the introduction of a third element based on the vacuum diode. That have a grid to controls the flow of electrons. Therefore, the current amplification and regulation are achieved. In 1906, Lee DeForest added another terminal to the diode. This terminal is not a solid piece of metal. It's a wire mesh. It's between the filament and the sheet metal. This grid-like structure is shaped like a fence, hence the name gate. When we apply a large potential difference between the cathode and anode, so the amount of electrons flowing between the cathode and the anode is controlled by the gate. If the gate is negatively charged, then he will repel the electrons emitted in the cathode, so no electrons can flow to the anode. And if the gate terminal is positively charged, then the electrons on the cathode will be attracted. Most of it will go through the hole in the gate, then accelerate to the anode. So if the gate voltage increases, he will attract more electron flow, allowing more electrons to reach the anode. On the contrary, if the gate voltage decrease, he reduces the flow of electrons and reduce electrons reaching the anode. The result is that if there is a small change in the voltage across the gate, you can control the current on the anode. It's very responsive. If we want to amplify a signal, the input signal is at the gate a very small signal, and you can get the amplified signal on the anode. Like the old telephones, the sound of our voice causes voltages to fluctuate at gate. And through the anode, the amplified signal can be transmitted to a further places. To maximize energy efficiency, the filament will be placed in the center gates, and metal plates is designed as a cylinder surrounding the filament. This shape captures more electrons from the filament. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe.